Hi guys, this is the mutation uh, growing thread, and it's called growing thread because uh, we have transmutation and we also have uh, alien incubation and mutually assured destruction, so that's actually the biggest threat. Existing hybrid on the map uh, will nuke upon that, and also there is a chance that something will transmute up to hybrid, it will also then nuke upon that, and we also have alien incubation, everything that dies will uh, spawn broodlings, which actually adds to a, a threat, because these broodlings can also transmute, so uh, to be careful and those broodlings have to be killed they don't time out so i was playing as best buddy statement this time uh and uh, you know, uh statman might not be the best but uh, it is up there somewhere because you have gary which is good against broodlings you know the, the igor kills units and then broodlings too uh, I don't know which commander Manx can be really, really good. Uh, I think Stukov might actually be the best over here, but I did play Statman. Uh, maybe I even uh, saw this with Stukov for another video. I'll see about that. Uh, but uh, considering that I have a lot of time, I probably won't. So the thing is usual start, I uh, tech up, get uh, six zerglings to clear this, rocks, and this time I definitely wanna rush Super Gary, just uh, Terran Bio because it's easy as they come something fast would k actually kill me before uh, Gary would be out. So uh, I kill these guys. They don't transmute upon killing satellites. Now, uh, if you're not familiar in how the in how uh, the transmutation works, uh, unit has a chance of transmuting, which is uh, damage they deal per hit divided with number two is a chance in percentage. So, if unit deal deals uh, like 20 damage, it it uh, 20 damage per hit. It means that it has a 10 preset chance with every attack to uh, uh, transmute into something bigger and it only goes uh, one tier up, there are 10 tiers of units, the lowest tiers are like workers, uh, marines, zerglings and so, and the highest tiers are two top hybrids, hybrid behemoth, the tier 10 are hybrid behemoth and dominator which cannot transmute, but if, uh, if there is a kill, if unit, uh, enemy unit kills uh, the one of my units, then it will go as many tiers up as that unit, that kill unit is worth. Uh, and uh, so, for example, uh, Zealot is tier two. If something kills Zealot, it will go two tiers up. Uh, if unit is heroic, for example, if something kills Gary, no matter if it's Marine that killed Gary, it will become the highest tier. It will become hybrid do dominator or behemoth. Uh, immediately. So that's how transmutation works. Keeping that in mind, you should prevent enemies from attacking much as uh, as much as possible, you know, as kill them as fast as possible to uh, prevent transmutations. You will need to deal a lot of damage, like liberators, for example, tempests, uh, reavers, they have uh, the highest chance of transmuting. Also battle cruisers, if Yamato hits, that's instant transmutation, because it deals over 200 damage, so uh, 200 divided with 2 is 100, so 100% 100 chance of uh, transmutating, so everything that deals like over 200 damage will be instant transmutation if the damage is not blocked by some kind of barrier, and that's why statement is also good, because it can uh, green overcharge provides barrier. Okay, um, and recording this from replay, so I can uh, actually uh, analyze this more and uh, talk like this because it's pretty hectic so I couldn't uh, explain all these things. Okay, so as for alien incubation, uh, the unit will uh, uh, spawn as many broodlings as the supply cost, so from 1 to 8 broodlings from a unit, marines will spawn 1 you can see I also put this as a necessity to at least one of the spines here to kill the because it would be really bad if I would have to go home for the single uh, broodling there because it will then attack and then eventually transmute all the way up to a hybrid if not uh, taken care of fast 
Okay, so as you can see, Terran Bar is really good because early game I, uh, one Igor is enough to kill the enemy composition plus the the broodlings they spawn. And th th one other good thing is very very important here that Gary can shoot. Uh, Gary can shoot on the move that will be extremely important against hybrids later. Okay. So as you can see, even tanks. Okay, tanks maybe need a little bit help. I decided ultra list now. That might be counterintuitive because they are melee. So fighting hybrids, you know, when they nuke melee units will be close and die. But uh, I think it's ultra list card tanky. They have 500 HP, and also they are pretty fast. You can pull back, <coughs> and they can. They are also good against this comp. They can cleave stuff very fast. Okay, so far Gary does the, the job, there are a few, and also I can, when I'm clearing with Gary, I can also leave Ultra Lisk behind and they can, um, they can cleave stuff, and also uh, if something transmute into air, like Ultra Lisk cannot attack air, but they have this uh, Mecha Mooch module that can absorb uh, health from enemy uh, units, as you can see, they're using it over here, okay, uh, I didn't lose an Ultra Lisk, that's good. Okay, it's good f to clear from this side because Broodlings also will always uh, uh, creep towards uh, the base. So you want to position yourself between the Broodlings and the base to catch them. Yeah, there will be a few, but I have two, two of these things, so none of them even has chance to attack if there are only few. If that would be like 15, 20 Broodlings, that it could be trouble. But... Uh, Make sure, okay, I didn't start upgrades yet, upgrades are not priority, priority is tech, tech research, but I already have all three, so one of them is a uh, chitinous, uh, actually it's so called hitinium, hitinium uh, plating here, it's, uh, but it's uh, what it does over here, not like in versus, it grants the unit 25% damage reduction, and the damage reduction is good because it's, uh, Less chance of transmuting with enemies. Okay, bit, uh, a little bit of here, but I don't. I have to ch save Igor. Igor is very important. Okay, so I have vector burrow charge, but I never use that. If we want to free that Belshir glider I mentioned, we don't have all day. Okay, I didn't, of course, go for bonuses. Bonuses can. Like, probably when I will be doing this in solo, maybe I and my ally will be doing bonuses, but for solo it's too risky to go for bonus, you don't have time for this, and you wanna have as much uh, coverage with the stat zone, so Gary has maneuvering room and also the ultra lists. Okay, so as you can see, Gary is doing most things, but having ultra uh, lurkers, uh, also good against Broodling against this combo, they are too immobile and when you fight hybrids that's uh, that's pretty bad. So they are not really good. You can go Banelings, but you need to do a lot of macro and micro, like making Zerglings, make sure that Zerglings don't fight because they will trigger, a, they have a lot of, uh, they, they are not very tanky, they die easy, so there will be a lot of transmutations and you need to then get them into bane links and you need a lot of micro you need a lot of everything okay we have first uh, hybrids here <laughs> okay one of them transmitting so oh both of them did into biggest form of well yeah they have the these hybrids have the the consumed dna thing so that's actually a splash uh, damage uh, thing so it's most likely that they will they rarely stay rivers they they transform into behemoths because they both have actually both because behemoth is actually a bigger type of a river and so uh, yeah they have these uh, these uh, consumed dna which does a lot of damage uh, to all these units so that's why they transmute pretty much oh is it they use it okay now you can see that i retreated i actually didn't lose anything because now okay Okay, I actually suck uh, now, uh, I suck some ultras. I could have pulled back uh, 
further, but I was worried that actually, okay, bot wouldn't be killed from one hybrid that's it, because it's 1000 HP. Nuke deals damage nor as normal nuke, like 750 damage, and in the center, 0 to 4 from the center, 4 to uh, 6, the deals uh, half, and uh, 6 to 8 in the outer rim, they'll deal quarter of that, but still, like, I uh, wanna risk anything. And uh, now I have quite a money, like I'm producing more ultra, so I have a pretty healthy number of ultra -lisk. Okay, now this way will be the... This way will be uh, the game decider. If I, if I uh, mess this up, then it can be game over. Okay, overcharge pretty important. Okay, there are a few hybrids here. I have to be very careful how to how to engage. Okay, one of them died. Few ultralists died, but I still have a force. Okay, this fortunately didn't kill anything. This one. So you can see how important it is to is for Gary to be able to uh, fire on the move because can leave uh, everything behind. Okay, I would make a much module actually almost uh, to kill Gary. Now there are some. Hybrid still over here. Okay, thanks. Will die. Okay, dominators are annoying. They hit me with plasma blast, dealing, dealing 260 damage. Okay, this dominator will die, and now this river will also die. Didn't even transmute uh, without dealing damage. So I have nine ultras left. I will be producing more. See, I have a uh, few money. I have first two to upgrades I kind of forget the others okay I want to do as much damage here and keeping ultra risk here to deal with all the broodlings and now Gary is using the Igor to clear as much as uh, he can I think the bots are telling us they're rolling out but I could be wrong they lied to me last time I was here That's a little Okay, I forgot. Did I actually let one bot die? I think I didn't. Uh, let's see. So now I have to clear this area here. And luckily, this is very fortunate that they, they are coming from the same spot. Okay, Ultralisk will. Okay, I actually send Ultralisk there. But okay, I have a uh, Igor that will deal with good portion of this wave too. Okay, but now, now I'm in a little bit trouble. I have one hybrid here to fight. Okay, now full. Uh, okay, this is this is very bad situation because bots are here and look at how much damage they did take. So I have to be careful. Okay, there is that stuff. But the uh, ultra this cleaves stuff very fast before anything actually transmuted. Okay, this bot. Okay, I'm rushing here, good thing is I have Gary zone and situation is saved. Yeah, that's a lot of this is the, this is the super wave. Ooh, they kill one ultra and immediately you can see that something transmutes into the liberator. And probably Marine that killed the ultra, otherwise if the tank killed it I think it would be go up to hybrid or something because tank is much higher than already then uh, the thing okay now I think I have to use uh, my bots are making the return trip now yeah teleport okay this is actually a pretty good teleport in middle of them so ultralists can cleave one more tank and that's it I think I'm still on one one yeah I didn't start this I was uh, too busy with dealing with waves Okay, I'm teleporting here again. Igor. And okay, now I was pretty confident that I will be <laughs> winning this because uh, this wave has no hybrids. And now there are only two tricky parts uh, of this uh, game remaining. And that's clearing this bay, this area because there are also two hybrids there and also some strong units that can transmute into hybrids. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. Look, Gary, your brothers and sisters are back. Okay, a little bit of maca. I think I started. Yeah, I started at uh, two two now. 
Okay, a barrier is really important. Okay, I'll see this uh, river immediately. Okay, one, just one ultra did receive some damage but didn't die. Okay, there is a dominator here now. Okay, one ultra did die. But that's acceptable, those are acceptable losses because we can see I have decent supply. By the way, zerglings uh, are burrowed here, you don't wanna... I could, could have killed them, but it's important not to get them into battle to farm transmutations. Okay, I went here to kill this, but I think I did. Yeah, I didn't do it because they are coming. So fighting these waves is uh, really easy. If that would be like Immortal Colossus or something, or Tempests, that would be really bad because it would be a ton of hybrids. So it is pretty much impossible to solo or very very hard. But if you have like uh, Terran Bio, then it's not that hard. Igor and Ultra is kill stuff very fast. Okay, let's slow down to see actually in a, a real time speed of play. Okay, something transmuted into Liberator, but it was almost instantly killed. And now, after the signal that bots are after, the, he starts saying that uh, bots are coming home, then the wave will spawn here. So that's the thing. Always. Uh, it's good to know if you don't know that yet. Well, it's not a whale, but okay, it's uh, I don't know some flying bullshit. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, that was unfortunate. They killed my satellites. Only one. Only one Igor, not triple, because I was out of the zone, but never mind. Okay, now my job is, I uh, know I, I actually cannot kill this wave. This is too much. This is the strongest wave in the game. So the only thing is like, I need to kill as much as I can. I mean, the other things can be killed, but hybrids, there are too many of them. So I actually need to stall as much as I can because you can see that these two bots are almost home I didn't lose a bot so I can afford to lose this one so I need to stall and this is practically one game okay I use Igor here uh, Gary will probably die <laughs> he actually got killed by uh, <laughs> by ultralisks now there's a lot of stuff here I just need to uh, there is also one extra wave coming but I just need to stall and that's uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, I decided let's uh, let's attack these guys. And okay, one hi two hybrids are coming here, but even that last bot is okay. I decided let's fight this just to stall. The last bot is coming home. These ultras will die. There'll be even more hybrids now, but nobody cares. Okay, this bot now attacks. The harvest, this uh, hybrid tax harvesting bot, but uh, wasn't able to. You kill it, so all bot save bonuses. Not, of course, and there are also hybrids in the second bonus area. That would be a very big mistake if I went there. You can see Gary most damage, <coughs> even more than Ultralisks, but yeah, Ultralisks were pretty good support. And. Uh, Mecha Zerglings, yeah, that's that's only the damage to the rocks. So that's it, guys. Uh, let's see the let's see the overlay. Here we go. Okay, so 47 ultra is produced, 43 lost. Uh, like this, the the four that survived are probably newly produced. Uh, okay, so you can see kill by also Gary killed a lot. Look at how many units because there are a lot of broodlings. So uh, yeah, there were like <laughs> uh, more than three thousand units in total. Uh, hybrid dominators killed uh, most, uh, and you can see that uh, 
seven were still alive at the end, but that's uh, the stalling did the job. But you can see I prevented uh, stuff from actually killing my stuff, like uh, was, uh, to prevent transmutation, killing evades fast is the key of success over here. So, and classic infantry is also pretty good composition because uh, they are slow. Like uh, the Warring Scourge is uh, is weak composition, but it is fast. So, Zerglings kill bots really fast, and they spawn spawn more broodlings. So, yeah, I think uh, classic infantry is kind of easiest to deal uh, with over here. Uh, if if I went Stukov, I would probably I uh, chose. Uh, I would have probably ch uh, chose the the Zerg composition because they are Zerglings are melee, so you can kill them with slime. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. You can support me on Patreon if you want or need help. And thanks again. See you guys.